Hi guys, Greg Howe here, S9 Radio. Thought I'd give you a close-up look at the somewhat rare and elusive Browning BB30 business band wink wink single channel crystal controlled transmitter. Now as you can see, the BB30 shares the same exact chassis as the Browning Mark None, the Browning Mark II, and also the SSB15 transmitter. Let's have a look at the front panel. It's a single channel crystal controlled, so we've got the absence of the channel selector and the channel selector dial. Uh, they brought both the tune, the plate tune, and the antenna loading controls to optimize the final to the front panel, which is nice. It'd be even nicer if they had a crystal socket here. Then, of course, you've got the standard two pin Amphenol microphone jack common to all the early Browning transmitters, the spot switch, spot switch indicator lamp, this slide switch with the BB and a PA position. The BB meaning business band transmitter is engaged, the PA position letting you know you've got 22 watts of available audio from this wonderful modulator tube, and the audio level or public address level is controlled by this volume control here which is kind of interesting and unique to all the Browning transmitters as this control also doubles as a microphone attenuation control the higher you have this control set or more clockwise the more microphone attenuation that is achieved this is not to be confused with R22 level control internally this control is useful for people working in a business environment that may have a high amount of background noise and the stock Browning banana mic or Electro Voice uh, microphone was a little bit too hot. This level control here would actually allow you to attenuate the background noise. So kind of an interesting control only found on the BB30 transmitter. Looking at the underside of the Browning BB30 business band transmitter, you'll notice that the interconnects are the same as the rest of the Browning series making them fully compatible and interchangeable with the exception of the Mark IVs. Here's our plate tuning capacitor, here's our antenna loading capacitor. Other than sharing the same chassis build platforms in the 12AX7 mic amp preamp tube common to all Browning transmitters, that's where the similarities end. The BB30 is a rather exotic 7868 22 watt audio modulator tube well known to the vintage hi-fi crowd for its wonderful tonal qualities and extremely low distortion. Then we go into a 6GH8 oscillator tube and then into a rather interesting final. This is actually two finals in parallel housed in one glass envelope. That's the 6360 final tube. They're rated at 16 watts. I'm seeing about 18 watts. Now most would think having this wicked 7868 modulator tube, the BB30 would have screaming loud audio. Hey, how's this sounding? Uh, I'm on a uh, pretty rare Browning business band transmitter. They do about, oh, I don't know, 18 watts. It's called a BB30, a single channel um, crystal control business band transmitter. Yeah, I'm on a stock mic, and they, uh, because this is business band, they've got it dialed way back. They've got diode limiters and all that stuff in there, uh, but I did put the new caps in, including an audio cap, and that's, that's what I got going on right now. Uh, new capacitors and the stock banana mic. Really? <laughs> okay, good deal. Uh, yeah, I've got the lollipop turned down a little bit right now. Do you think it could be any louder? Is that just about right?
Alrighty, well that's kind of what I wanted to hear. I've got one more level of audio madness I could do to this, and I kind of want to get some more forward swing. Honey keg, this is a uh, this is a business band uh, radio telephone made by Browning about 1970. It's called the BB30, BB30, business band 30. The 30 meaning 30 megacycles or 30 watts, single channel, crystal controlled and pretty damn rare. Um, like I said, I know of about four or five of them in existence. I, d I don't know how many they made. Not Okay, well loud is good. I'd like to see a little more forward swing out of it. How's this 776 microphone sound? I figure as long as I'm playing with this thing, I'll put a different uh, brownie mic on. This radio is really made for the banana mic. It wasn't made for this microphone. Does this thing sound okay? I'm, I'm going to throw the banana mic on here next, the stock mic. Uh, this is the stock banana mic. These were business band radios. They weren't ma made to have the super loud screaming audio that the Browning Golden Eagles do. Uh, how, how copy? What do you think? Go back to the amplified mic. Really? 